Hello everyone, this is Ashish Saini from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. So once again, I am back with the topic in which you will see how you can connect your Docker container to the Rasa chatbot or let's say you are going to build a project that will be built inside the Docker container. You don't need any external thing or you don't need any other dependencies. Everything will be set up inside the Docker. So Docker will definitely take care of all the things for you. Right. So this is all that we're going to do. Now let's move ahead and let's continue with the project that we have covered in the last session. Now let's get started and let's see how you can do that part. All right. So as you have seen in the last session that I've already shown you that how you can initialize the very basic project and how you can further test your bot, right? Uh, by simply just running this uh, shell command with respect to the Docker container that you have just created, right? So this is all that we have done in here, right? Now let's get started and let's see how to further get started and how to further customize your bot as per the Docker container, right? So let's just get uh, started with that. So for that, uh, firstly, let me show you the Docker images. So as you have seen over here, I have created an image and that image name is this, right? So rasa slash rasa colon 1.10.7 hyphen full. So let's see the image where it is. So rasa slash rasa, where is it? Yeah, here rasa slash rasa and the tag name is 1.10.7 hyphen full so what is it so this is a repository and this is a tag name right so this is what we have downloaded in the last session right so i hope now you are familiar like what exactly we have done in there and how we have just downloaded both of it right so this is what i am doing in here and this is the image id so if in case you don't want any images to be present in here and if you want to delete anything then you can directly delete it that's not an issue right so there is some commands that you can directly do, right? But right now let's move ahead and let's see if in case uh, I want to make changes to my existing project. Like uh, in the last session, I have already shown you that I have built a very basic project and that very basic project is, let's see where it is. Yeah, this one. So you can see this is a project which I have already created in the last session. So now what I want to do is I want to make some changes to my existing project. So apart from the very basic conversation which uh, the Rasa provides to you, I want to make some more conversations and I want to work on them, right? So how I can do this with the Docker container? So for that, firstly what I will do is I will just uh, tell you like what exactly I want to do in here. I want to build a very basic conversation. So in that conversation, what I want to do is I just want to ask my bot. So I want to know about your company. So can you provide me some more information? Because uh, my bot cannot provide you all the information. So that what I want to do is I want to make my bot intelligent enough that my, what my bot will do is my bot will give you the link directly or let's say my bot will provide you my website link. So the website link will be directly shown to you. What you can do, you can directly see it and you can directly open and uh, redirect to that page and you will get the all information related to our website. So this is all that I want to do. So this is a very basic conversation that I can uh, quickly uh, end up and I can directly show you that whether it's working with the Docker container or not, right? So for that, let's just get started and uh, for that, let's make the changes to the files. So firstly, let's make the changes to the NLU file, right? So in here, let's just add an intent. So let's say the intent name is information, right? So this is the information. Okay, change the spelling, right? So let's say, tell me more about your company. All right, so for now what I have done is I have added few sentences. So these are the very basic statements, right? So let me just uh, copy the intent name and just add it to the domain file so that further I can just use it uh, for this purpose, right? So just save it. I already have this one. And now whenever the user will say the message related to this, it will automatically classify that this is a information intent. And based on that, we will create a story and that story will be called, right? So just copy it to the domain file. 
so here is the domain file and inside this domain file add it here all right so i have added the intent and for this intent i want my bot to say something and for that let's just add one thing and that one thing is let's see utter underscore info and write the text for it all right so i have added this now in here just do one thing just provide the link let's say all right so i have added a link right so this will be treated as a link and automatically it will redirect you to the new page right so this is what i am doing in here now i have the intent name i have the action over here now it's time to just add it right so just copy this information and based on this i have to make a story so to make a story just go to the data and into the stories in here just create a separate story and that story will be like information happy path right so this is what i have written just write information and write the action so the action is this add it here so now what will happen is when the user will ask the bot for the more information the bot will provide you or let's say the bot will reply you with the link so this is how it is going to do right so for that let me just add one more thing in here i have to add the actions because there are many actions right so let me just add all of it all right so i have added all the actions in here right and also i have added the story right so just save your files and i guess everything is done i don't have to do further changes over here right all right so everything is done now it's time to train your model right so for training the model we are not going to write directly rasa train because this time we have some different method and this time we are going to do it with docker right so this is the image for that right so just write let's say just update it update it with train right so if you will directly write train so what it will do is it will automatically pick for the by default locations and on that location it will search for the domain file for the data and the models folder which where it is going to just give you the output a uh, model and it will store it there right so this is what it is going to do right now so right now as you can see my all the directories and all the files are already as per the basic or let's say the by default location so i don't have to mention anything right so just run it and let's see whether it's working or not right so it will train the model let's see all right so you can see the model is getting trained all right so you can see your rasa model is trained and saved at slash app slash app means it is storing everything inside the docker container so your model is trained and the model is saved into that particular location right so you are working locally that's okay but yeah everything is being changed or let's say the all the changes are being made on to the docker container so when you will see uh, let's say when you will check for that location you will find everything is updated and everything is inside there right so everything is working now we can just uh, run the rasa shell command and we can see whether it's working or not so just run the rasa shell all right so now we can talk to the bot let's say hi all right hey how are you and now instead of passing that sad happy or anything i want to say 
Tell me more about your company. So can you see? Here is the website link. For more information, just click this. So when you will click on this, you will find that it will take you or let's say it will redirect you to that particular website which I have mentioned in here, right? So this is the URL for that. All right, so can you see the website is here and in here uh, you can check whatever you want to check based on uh, whatever information you want from the bot, right? So you have the complete link. You can go there and you can check everything, whatever you want to check, right? So this is all about that. I hope now you have got the idea like how you can update your files, update your directory and everything onto your docker container and how you can further train your model and accordingly you can check it and whatever uh, things that you have learned up to this point from my Rasa playlist which you already have in here right so if you don't have any idea about that don't worry I will uh, leave the link in the description and also I will uh, add it to this video right so you can directly check it and i hope you have got everything and you have understood everything from this session but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding any of the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel and also you can press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any updates from my channel because I keep on posting many topics, many such topics which you actually require as per your industrial standards. So it is definitely uh, very helpful for you to get an opportunity in a very uh, good organization, right? So this is totally all about you, right? So just click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates from my channel. Till then, bye bye and happy learning.